Welcome back to another edition of the Physics Friar, and we are talking today about waves, specifically about wave speed. It's a common question when you come to waves, how fast does a wave move? Well, we're going to do some example problems to illustrate uh, this principle. Let's say we have a wave. There's our wave. We want to know how fast it's going. Well, how do you figure out what its speed is? It's simple enough. The formula for a wave speed is the speed of the wave is equal to its frequency times its wavelength. To use uh, symbols, we call uh, we write that formula in the following manner: v equals f times lambda. That funny looking thing on the right is the Greek letter lambda, and it represents the wavelength. Notice why physicists like symbols as opposed to writing these formulas out. We can just write v equals f lambda, and that means the same thing as frequency times the wavelength is equal to the speed. Much simpler to write. So let's talk about a wave. And this wave has a frequency of 1 hertz. Now note that uh, if it has a frequency of 1 hertz, that means that if you have a guy standing on the beach looking at this wave at point x, if it has a frequency of 1 hertz, that means that a wave passes by x once per second. Once every second, a wave goes by x. If the frequency of the wave is 20 hertz, that means a wave passes x 20 times every second. Or, to put it in other words, 20 waves pass x every second. Now, don't confuse frequency with the speed. The speed of the wave is related to the frequency of the wave, but it's not the same thing. In order to calculate the speed of the wave, we also need to know the wavelength of the wave. Let's say that this wave has a wavelength of 1 meter. Then its speed is going to be equal to the frequency times the wavelength, or 20 times 1 meters per second, and that is 20 meters per second. So this wave is moving at 20 meters per second. Now, be careful not to confuse a wave's frequency with its speed. And here is how they are different. Let's take another example. Again, we have our friendly physics stick figure standing on the beach at point X, and he's looking at a couple of different waves. That wave there, and this wave here, and this time both of them are moving at a frequency of 20 hertz, or both of them have a frequency of 20 hertz, but they have very different wavelengths, as you can see. The first wave has a wavelength of 1 meter, the second wave has a wavelength of 5 meters, so their speeds are going to be very different. Now, they have the same frequency, which means that every second, 20 waves go by. In order for that to be possible, the speed of the first wave has to be 20 meters a second. 20 times 1 is equal to 20 meters a second. But the speed of the second wave is equal to 100 meters a second. Now, what's going on here? The difference in wavelength matters. Here we have a wave of 1 meter wavelength, and here we have a wave of 5 meters of wavelength. The difference is like this. Let's say you have a couple of relay teams, and the first relay team has a baton of 1 meter in length, and the second relay team has a baton of 5 meters in length. And you tell each team, I want you to cross the dotted line 20 times a second. Now, the team with the 1 meter baton is going to be able to move much slower than the team with the 5 meter baton because they only have to get their baton past the dotted line uh, 20 times a second, and it's fairly short in comparison to the 5 meter baton. The team that has the 5 meter baton has to do 5 times as much, really, because their 5 meter baton is equal to five one meter batons. So in other words, they have five times uh, the amount of uh, effort to get the baton across the dotted line 20 times a second. They're going to have to move much faster to get that five times longer baton across that dotted line in order to keep up the frequency uh, that they've been charged with. Make sense? Think about it. To get the longer baton across the finish line at a rate of 20 times per second, you're going to have to move faster 
if you're still struggling to understand why, uh, take a look at this drawing and uh, think it out.